In this episode, we will see how preforms for manufacturing of PET bottles are manufactured. Nearly all of us uses PET bottles. They are light and easy to recycle. Where does the name PET come from? It is an acronym for polyethylene terephthalate, a thermoplastic polymer used to manufacture synthetic fibers in bottles. But what needs to be done to transform this plastic material into a bottle? In this process, preforms are used which assume the required shape in a mold during the process of blowing. In this episode, we will see how preforms are manufactured. The company WIP from Alexandrov Kuyavsky specializes in this process. Everything starts in the laboratory that is ISO and HACCP certified and tests not only the quality of each batch of preforms, but also the material of which they are made, in that PET granulate. Before it is tested, it must be initially dried for four hours, and then the test with a viscometer can be performed. The material viscosity is one of the most important of production parameters. 30% of the granulate supplied to the plant comes from recycling. Now we can see how raw material is drawn from the silo in the automated process. If the recycled granulate is used, the material is first transferred to a machine weighing required portions out. Then the granulate is dried again and heated to 170 degrees Celsius. This takes about five hours. The plant can process up to 240 tons of the granulate a day. The plastic material from the silos is then fed into the auger inlet. This is the first stage of the robotized plasticizing system. There, the plastic is heated to 280 degrees Celsius and becomes more liquid. Also, pigment or other components can be added at this stage. Afterwards, the entire mass is fed to the injection piston, which uses pressure to push the plasticized material out after the form is closed. The preform, which is practically finished, is formed and initially cooled. A robot collects products, still warm, and transfers them to a cooling rack. When they cool, the belt transports preforms to return baskets to be sent to a customer, and everything is done in a completely automated way. Let's not forget about caps. Their production is performed in a very similar way as preforms, and also takes place on the injection machines. The only difference is that they are made of HDPE, high-density polyethylene. This material does not require initial drying and heating. It is directly transferred to the inlet of the plasticizing system. It is heated to 290 degrees Celsius and mixed with pigments and other additives. For example, increasing slipperiness. The finished caps are transported on a belt conveyor to a cooling device and then pass through a video control system. The technologically advanced system verifies the product quality, size, color, and potential damage. Finally, caps are placed in transport containers. In this case, carton boxes of 7,200 pieces. The factory can manufacture as many as 47 million caps in a month, and they can be printed if a customer requires so. WIP means not only the modern machine pool, but also care for the environment. Waste generated during production is reused, so not a single granule gets to the environment. We should also remember that the life cycle analysis for PET, HDPE, and PP plastics demonstrated many times that they have a lower carbon footprint than glass, aluminum, or metal. 
WIP already meets standards that soon will be required from all European Union suppliers. WIP supplies leading solutions for the largest brands in the soft drinks and dairy sectors. Therefore, certainly each of us at least once have held a bottle made of a preform manufactured in Alexandrov Kuyavsky. Not being aware of that, 